Scientists think the cat first sliced into the prey with its canines and then fell back and waited for that animal to die of shock and blood loss before it moved into feast. When biting, these canines were not a major obstacle, since it is believed the Smilodon fatalis could open its jaw to between 90 and 120 degrees. They were not a major obstacle when it devoured that carcass either. The Smilodon probably used the sharp carnassials on the side of its mouth for chewing. Now this particular cat is hunting alone, but paleontologists speculate that the Smilodon fatalis lived and hunted in social groups like modern day lion prize. So you've met the cat in the oh. Okay. Now what about its environment? After all, asphalt acts as a time capsule, trapping not only animals, but also aspects of the natural world in which they